Cassandra is a distributed database management system designed for handling a high volume of structured data across commodity servers. Cassandra handles the huge amount of data with its distributed architecture. Data is placed on different machines with more than one replication factor that provides high availability and no single point of failure. It is a type of NoSQL database. A NoSQL database, sometimes called as not only SQL, is a database that provides a mechanism to store and retrieve data other than the tabular relations used in relational databases. These databases are schema-free, support easy replication, have simple API, eventually consistent, and can handle huge amounts of data. NoSQL databases use different data structures compared to relational databases. It makes some operations faster in NoSQL. The primary objective of a NoSQL database is to have simplicity of design, horizontal scaling, and finer control over availability. Here are the differences between rational databases and NoSQL databases as shown in this tabular format. Take your time to read them carefully. The design goal of Cassandra is to handle big data workloads across multiple nodes without any single point of failure. Cassandra has peer-to-peer -peer distributed system across its nodes, and data is distributed among all the nodes in a cluster. All the nodes in a cluster play the same role. Each node is independent and at the same time interconnected to other nodes. Each node in a cluster can accept read and write requests, regardless of where the data is actually located in the cluster. When a node goes down, read-write requests can be served from other nodes in the network. Here is a Cassandra architecture model. Let's us see components of Cassandra in detail. A node. Node is the place where data is stored. It is the basic component of Cassandra. Data center. A collection of nodes are called data center. Many nodes are categorized as a data center. The cluster is the collection of many data centers. Commit log. Every write operation is written to commit log. Commit log is used for crash recovery. Mem table. After data written in commit log, data is written in mem table. Data is written in mem table temporarily. SS table. When mem table reaches a certain threshold, data is flushed to an SS table disk file. Replication. As hardware problem can occur or link can be down at any time during data process, a solution is required to provide a backup when the problem has occurred. So data is replicated for assuring no single point of failure. 
Cassandra places replicas of data on different nodes based on these two factors. Where to place next replica is determined by the replication strategy. While the total number of replicas placed on different nodes is determined by the replication factor. One replication factor means that there is only a single copy of data while three replication factor means that there are three copies of the data on three different nodes. For ensuring there is no single point of failure, replication factor must be three. Let's us see replication strategy. Simple strategy is used when you have just one data center. Simple strategy places the first replica on the node selected by the partitioner. After that, remaining replicas are placed in clockwise direction in the node ring. Network topology strategy is used when you have more than two data center, replicas are set for each data center separately. Network topology strategy places replicas in the clockwise direction in the ring until reaches the first node in another rack. This strategy tries to place replicas on different racks in the same data center. This is due to the reason that sometimes failure or problem can occur in the rack. Then replicas on other nodes can provide data. Write operation. When write request comes to the node, first of all, it logs in the commit log. Then Cassandra writes the data in the mem table. Data written in the mem table on each write request also writes in commit log separately. Mem table is a temporarily stored data in the memory while commit log logs the transaction records for backup purposes. When mem table is full, data is flushed to the SS table data file. Read operation. The coordinator sends direct request to one of the replicas. After that, the coordinator sends the digest request to the number of replicas specified by the consistency level and checks whether the returned data is an updated data. Dot. After that, the coordinator sends digest request to all the remaining replicas. If any node gives out of date value, a background red repair request will update that data. This process is called red repair mechanism. Dot. Let's us now install Cassandra, likely it is easier to install on Docker than manual way, just run the following command. The following command starts another Cassandra container instance and runs CQLSH Cassandra query language shell against your original Cassandra container, allowing you to execute CQL statements against your database instance. Dot. Start by creating network first. Dot. Then run the Cassandra Docker image to start use CQL commands as shown here. Cassandra Query Language. Users can access Cassandra through its nodes using Cassandra Query Language CQL. CQL offers a model close to SQL in the sense that data is put in tables containing rows of columns. A keyspace is an object that holds the column families user-defined types. In Cassandra, Keyspace is similar to our DBMS database. Keyspace holds column families, indexes, user-defined types, data center awareness, strategy used in Keyspace, replication factor, etc. The following are commands for creating, altering and deleting Keyspaces in Cassandra. You need to understand them well to master Cassandra database. Let's us see them in action. Here is how to define and create tables in Cassandra. Here are other Cassandra table operations such as insert, update and delete operations. CQL has limitations, here are the CQL limitations. CQL does not support aggregation queries like max, min, AVG CQL does not support group by, having queries. CQL does not support joins. 
CQL does not support OR queries. CQL does not support wildcard queries. CQL does not support union intersection queries. Table columns cannot be filtered without. Let's us see Cassandra operations once again. Create keyspaces command. Create table command. Query or read table command. Insert data into table command. Great, as you can see it is much like SQL commands. Thanks for watching I hope you have learned something new today. Subscribe to watch more videos links on descriptions. Happy learning.